Uh, today is an exciting day. I am gonna go pick up our ceiling. I just have to drive uh, probably about two hours to uh, this woodlot lumber yard and pick it up. I've got my uh, friend number one, friend number two, and uh, friends number three through 32 are gonna be waiting at home for me to come home, come back. Yeah, it should be good. I'm gonna go through a very high mountain pass and uh, should be a nice drive. A few people were noticing we have a green truck in the yard now. We did get a new to us truck. It's a 97 or 98 Dodge, I can't remember. But uh, once both of the door handles were broken on the old Chevy, I told Greg it was time to start looking for a new truck because I'm done with that one. <laughs> the window doesn't open on the passenger side the interior door handle on the passenger side broke and then the exterior door handle on the driver side broke. So it's just a real pain to go in that truck, especially going into summer. If we can't have the window open, uh, we can't bring our dogs and it just gets pretty hot here. So yeah, very happy that we found this truck. It's uh, old, but very clean. Anyways, let's get on the road. This truck has airbags in the back and the suspension for heavy stuff so I filled those up before I left and uh, I'm just realizing how bouncy it is on our road <laughs> but I guess I could have done it when I got there but I did not so it's gonna be a bumpy ride until we get onto the pavement. That's pretty. I think it's gonna look good. Yeah, I think so too. I think we got a good color. They don't, you don't get the juicer side. Really? Yeah. Oh. Unless you want the bevel or the no bevel. Well. This is nicer on this one. I like this side better. Oh, whoops. 220, start with 220. Mm -hmm. So we're undecided if we should sand before we stain because this is hemlock and pine. Greg has heard that there is a glaze that is created from when it goes through a planer, so it doesn't absorb the stain as well. But we don't want to stain, we don't want to sand it. That is a lot of work. I think, I think this will be cool. So you are going to sand it. We're going to try to sand it and not sand it and see what works.
and definitely need a paintbrush. Yes, you paint it on, wipe it off. All right, we hate the color. So Greg ran into town. He had half an hour before the store was gonna close. So I sent him in on his bike because he can go a lot faster. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's too orange. I don't know what we were thinking. 5.59, I just got off the phone with him. The store closes at six. There was two colors that we like, so we'll see. One of them's, at least in the little like image I'm finding online, it's very dark, but I'm feeling like it's not gonna be that dark on this wood because it's so light. So we'll see, I don't know. But this means that we can hopefully continue tonight once we get these two colors and see what they look like because uh, it's just so hard to choose. So now I will wait another half an hour for him to come home. <laughs> okay, Greg is back. This stain is called mocha. mocha. This one seems like it's very dark, but I'm thinking once it's on the wood, it's gonna be better, so we'll see. We'll see. It's a very light wood, so. <laughs> oh man. We'll be doing one coat. <laughs> oh yeah. If we even do this. I think that's pretty dark. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, maybe it will dry lighter. Uh, no. <laughs> that is not light enough. <laughs> okay, this one is called Walnut. It's called Special Walnut. Katie, not just walnut. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that red. You gotta let it sit for a bit too though. both super happy with that color and how it's turning out. It's exactly what we envisioned. And uh, yeah, just can't wait to get it up on the ceiling. <laughs> Well, it is a big day for us. We're going to start putting up the ceiling. Can't wait to see what it's gonna look like. We love the color of the stain. What we are going to be doing is, we don't have a whole lot of space to put the boards to dry and to stain. So we're gonna put up the ones that we did last night. And then we also need to get working on our chicken tractor, which is probably gonna be confusing because it's gonna be in a different video. So we have one day this week. Yeah, so we're gonna be 
staining, letting it dry, working on the chicken tractor, and then we're gonna come back in here, put the dry ones up, and start staining more, and then back to the chicken tractor, so. Production line. It's gonna be all Homestead over the- production line. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be all over the place today, yeah. but it's gonna be different videos, so for now, let's get the first round of boards up. Let's get the first board up. That's the difficult part. Oh. It's gotta be perfect. That looks awesome! <laughs> One board. <laughs> Come take a look and point the This is completely safe. It's totally not sketchy at all. Um, I, I am a rock climber, so if anyone wants to come rock climbing, I take a, my, uh, the same steps of safety when I go rock climbing as well. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> it's not true. But, yeah, you gotta make, you gotta make work what you got to work with and that's what we're doing right now so I don't think you'd die if you fell you oh, I'd be really something. unhappy probably a little sore no <laughs> if you want safety go watch Trent and Allie yeah totally <laughs> So to kind of combat the issue of having uh, insulation showing through the knots, we are using some recycled rubber that's black. EPDM. Which brings us to the sponsor of today's video. EPDM, turning your stiletto into a mallet. <laughs> and this actually works really well. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this behind the hole. Behind the hole and we're going to see what it looks like. And if it looks like a little piece of rubber peeking out of a hole, we're not going to use it. But if it looks fine, we don't notice it, this is what we're doing. Yeah. Katie's idea. Credit. Yeah. The problem, here's the solution. I think it'll look good. The boss likes it, I like it.
right, we have finished up with all of these stained boards that we have. We're gonna take the off cuts that will fit and put them in the bathroom. I think most of them should fit. So we can at least get those out of the way and then moving on to the next project. Staining more boards. After a long, most of a week away from home at work, I'm super excited to get some more ceiling up. We are going to enjoy a nice cool weather inside the house before it gets too hot in here. Putting up some ceiling. back here finishing up the piece that uh, Greg smashed his finger with so we uh, rushed out the other night to uh, get his finger closed up with a band-aid <laughs> nothing serious just smashed off the tip polysporin <laughs> in a day Put yeah. it clean and it's good to go again yeah so uh, we did take the day off yesterday and just kind of relaxed in the sunshine and went for a nice hike and all that and uh now we are going to get the ceiling finished today That's... from the window to the wall <laughs> don't finish that <laughs> i won't it's all good yeah mm -hmm. so we uh that's what we're doing let's go let's get to it let's get to it mm. <laughs> at the point where our light fixtures are going to be so we are going to measure and make sure that the distance is close between the remainder of the ceiling that is exposed and uh, then we're going to start getting the light sections whole sawed out whole sawed out <laughs>
37 and three quarters. So we have an inch to an inch to make up. I specifically picked out pieces without those kinds of cool, unique uh, markings in them, I guess. So we've got that big one, then there's one over here, a little bit smaller, and there's another little one over by the bed, over there somewhere. It's kind of hard to see, but um, I was hoping to get a few more, but I realized after we were staining all the lumber that some of them were on the back side of the boards. I didn't really notice that there was a front and back side when we were loading the truck, but uh, I think they're very cool, beautiful pieces of wood, right? Yes. And they look nice with the stain color too. on. Very tired once the bed is getting grumpy, angry. Um, we've got one last little strip to put in the ceiling and then I'm right to bed. And that's all there is to it about this, uh, about that. <laughs> you gotta cut in half. I gotta cut it in half, yeah. Watch me. Now typically, as you go along, you would measure the distance on either end of the room so that you can kind of finagle it to fill in any differences. And we tried that, but the reality is the tongue and groove doesn't always go in very well. And no. especially when you're getting a smaller and smaller section to hammer, it doesn't work very well. So we have a somewhat of a, um, slanted piece. Is that the word? Yeah, it's, yeah. There's about three quarters of an inch difference in this beveled. piece. <laughs> and then probably the same in the next one. It is what it is and trim is going to cover most of it. Okay. This isn't on the stud. It's not? No, it's three inches too big. Three inches too big? Okay, let's fix it then. Hang on, I don't give a shit. No, I'll get you then. 
I know we're close to me, but I, I got nothing. I got nothing left. I don't want to recut that. I'm just going to fit up. I've been doing sloppy work. It's not, it's not what we need to be doing right now. Just to get it done. That's it. I'm getting sloppy. I don't feel like doing this anymore. I can't really see what, what I'm doing because there's shadows. I'm tired, I'm wobbly because I'm so tired and I'm grumpy and I want to go to bed. So we're going to leave it, leave you here. <laughs> but. We're not ending the video. We're not ending the video. But you have to do this before Saturday. I have to do this before Saturday, so. We're back out here, had a few days to rest and uh, get over the frustration of doing this. A few days of 10 hour days at work to rest. Yeah. So we are going to get the last two pieces up. We're actually, Greg was just saying that maybe the one that we tried last night can actually go on the other side. So we're going to try that out, see if it fits. Mm -hmm. Ceiling finished. Except for the Check this out. Yeah, it looks awesome. We're really happy with it. Uh, yeah. it. It was more work than I expected. Yeah. Yeah. Once we started going up to the high side of the wall, it was like, okay, this is a shoulder workout. <laughs> there are imperfections. Yeah. As with anything that we do, but that's fine. I love it. Yeah, you like me it? Me too. Yeah. We're gonna leave you right there. Say bye, Katie. See you next time.